Check one, two, Paul Vecchio, Tripoli Productions. Got a nice little tutorial for you today. Apple Color, Star 69, director Elkie Blasi's feature length thriller. And um, what we got here is a scene where we really push the blacks and uh, you can kind of check that out here where, um, you know, we just kind of really, really added a lot of contrast and pushed the blacks and uh, didn't really do much with the highlights because we didn't want it too bright. You know, we wanted the concentration on her. Um, Elkie likes this really high contrast kind of look or, or, you know, really like deep, deep blacks kind of look. And um, I think that works really well for this film. Um, so you'd have to uh, really just fight back when, when, when you're pushing the contrast because like sometimes if you look here, uh, even in this raw footage, her, her skin is, is a little on the cool side. It's like on the colder colors, the purples, you know, her blush, photographed purple. Um, you know, just a lot of, uh, a lot of just like cool tones in her face, which is not really where, what we want our actress to look like. Uh, Elkie does not like that purple kind of skin tone, so we actually, um, changed it around a little bit. And, um, I'll show you exactly what we did here. All right, so basically um, what we're going to do is uh, I already have this look established and basically how we did it was we just added a lot of contrast and, uh, and um, you know, set the highlights to, to be around this area. And um, what I want to show you, though, because um, this is just the look and we want to, you know, do the advanced color correction on her skin tone. So what we want to do here basically is um, go into our secondaries tab and what I like to do here is keep really really organized um, so I do a lot of my relights on uh, or I do all my relights on one two three and four if I even need to go that high and uh, do most of my color adjustments like fine-tune color adjustments on eight seven six and five and you know wh whatever I need but I usually like to start my relights on one because um, typically you want the relight to happen uh, before you do your, your final look, which I do my final look in the primary out. We're gonna get into that in a later tutorial and I'll show you guys uh, some of that. But for now, we're, let's just uh, stick to the skin tone. So basically what we're doing here is, um, you know, this is the look that's applied and you can kind of see the purple tones in her skin. So let's, let's get rid of that. So what we wanna do here is just click on, uh, on this eyedropper here and just sample her skin tones so just click and drag and you want to get as many of the skin tones as possible because you don't want just part of the face being corrected you want all of it being corrected so just drag around here be careful not to you know accidentally grab the wall and just drag around her face and get as much of the skin tones as you can all right that's cool because we're just going to make a fine adjustment now so we're just going to um, right away I can see this right here is more in the reds and uh, her skin is actually like in the purple tone So we want to grab as many purple tones here as possible I'm just gonna click on here to show us the matte here and whatever's white is affected whatever's black is not affected So let's just go in here and just fine-tune this uh, I'm gonna push this over toward the purple tones because I know that most of her skin was like in that purple range And I'm just gonna expand this out just to give us a little bit more of a more breathing room here just to show so right there looks just about good and then uh, I'm gonna push this around just to see what we can do here yeah I'm just gonna open this up that actually is good and I'm just gonna close this in now to get rid of some of those uh, background tones that we don't want to affect All right, so that looks pretty good. Um, you can see it's a little rough over here. So um, what I want to do, actually, let's move it over. Yeah. So now what I want to do basically is um, blur this out. So I'm going to take a key blur, and so it's not so rough. I'll just add like one, and uh, so it blurs that out. It's not as rough, and and our color adjustment won't stand out as much in these areas because you'll see like, you know, some of this affected and some of it not. But our original image is actually here is nice because it's pushed a lot into the uh, shadows, so we're not going to really have to worry about that too much. Now, basically, we want to move it away from the purple tones. So you see purples around here. Um, 
and you would probably want to push it more towards the greens but I'm gonna do it usually uh, most people are around the orange range so we want to kind of keep it up here depending we'll just play around with it and see what what we get and if I do this more extreme you can kind of see it oh whoops okay here's the issue we're actually set to out and we don't want to do that so um let's just uh, readjust this here we want to be set to inside and so um, now this is going to affect just our skin tones make sure that this is on inside because you want to affect everything um, in the whites and not the blacks because uh, if it's set to outside it's going to be inverted right so inside is the default but just make sure so I'm going to push this now if you kind of see if I do a little bit you know of an extreme kind of thing you can kind of see just her her skin tones are really being affected nicely here uh, if we want to pull that away from the wall we can just kind of close this up a little bit maybe move it up or actually push this and there we go just make sure that wall disappears All right, cool. So um, if I push this, you can kind of see that, you know, it's really affecting your skin tones. And um, what we want to do is move it away from this purple. So I'm just going to move it more toward the green and yellows, just to kind of give it a more natural kind of look. And maybe even up toward orange. Possibly not, though. Let's see. Play around with it. Okay. So this is a little bit pale. Let's move her up a little bit. And if we want to, if we don't want to um, push this out anymore, we can just fine tune it here by just dragging this down. That just affects the angle of it. And um, let's see here. Kind of like that. So this is the before, and this is the after. It's very subtle, but she doesn't have this really, really purple kind of cast now. We can even push this out a little bit more. Right. So, yeah, her skin tone is now a little bit more natural. You know, it's fine-tuned adjusted here. And uh, it looks better than that purple kind of tone that we, we had when we started. And that looks good. Um, so, you know, her skin tones are a little bit more natural. And uh, and that's the look that uh, Elkie wanted in this scene for the actor's uh, skin tones. So, um, you know, uh, that's basically it. I mean, there are other things that you can do, too, if you just wanted to affect just her, uh, her face. And you wanted to make sure, because if you had some colors in the background here that were kind of, you know, like even right here. Um, you kind of want to just isolate, um, isolate her face. So you just put a little uh, vignette in here, a little circle. Right, um, sorry, middle click, and then you drag to the right, it feathers it out more, and drag to the left, it closes it up. So let's just uh, feather that out and put it right over her face. We can track that in there if we need to, but we're not going to do that. I'll get into that later in another tutorial. And um, make sure this is uh, selected inside so that uh, this, you know, this vignette only, um, whatever adjustments you do is only inside this vignette and to these skin tones or these. Uh, color tones that we picked and fine adjusted. So that is preserving skin tones and color correction inside of uh, Apple Color. Once again, this is Paul Davecchio, Crippley Productions. And uh, if you want to check out more of our stuff, you could view our website at www.triple-e-productions.net. And uh, if you want to check out our direct, my director site, you can go to pauldv.com. And if you want to check out the Triple E blog, you can go to tripleeblog.com. And if you have a need for uh, editing or color correction, visual effects, or uh, compositing, things like that, um, hit us up at uh, www.triple-e-productions.net. Once again, this is Paul Dovecchio, Triple E Productions. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. We're going to have a lot more um, color correction tutorials as well as some other behind-the-scenes stuff. So uh, subscribe to the blog, tripleeblog.com. And for uh, film and directing stuff, uh, pauldv.com. Paul Dovecchio, Triple E Productions. I'm out. Stay tuned, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.